This is Sports Central with Joe D and John Franchini on WICR. And we are back for our final segment of the evening. I know today tonight's going by way too fast. The callers are keeping us busy. That's hey, for sure. The phone lines, you know, yeah. it's great to hear those phone lines. And big, big props to Mike Demergis. I know he's listening right now. I hope he's listening anyway. Here. Yeah, I know. I know Mikey D's listening Mikey right D, now. Mikey D, good job. Thank you. Thank you big, for giving us this, Mike, and along with Pete. Yeah, Pete. Big, big shout out to Mike and Pete setting this up. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Terrific. But on our, on to our final segment of the day, NFL. You can never you can never have enough of football. It's never over. It's never over. Some news coming in today with Jared Allen signing a uh, four year deal with the Chicago Bears. Now the Bears lose Julius Peppers. They replace him right away with Jared Allen. What are your thoughts on this signing? Uh, I thought the better signing for Jared Allen, if he truly wants to win, if he really wants to win, he should have went to Seattle. He would have made that defense uh, even that much better. Now, going to Chicago is still a good team, the Chicago Bears. They have a good foundation there. But I still see the Seahawks as the favorite to win it all. And also money, him getting one last payday had a lot to do with going to Chicago too. He did get a lot of guaranteed money, which was very enticing to him. So that, I think that's why he cho- chose yeah, Chicago. Yeah, he did get a hefty payday. I think it was $15 million guaranteed. And over uh, what was four it? years. Four years. Thirty-two million. Yeah, Fifteen 30, million guaranteed. Thirty-two million. That, that, that's a nice payday. But here's a guy, you know, in his NFL career who has really prospered and has played at a high level, coming on uh, seven now, seven consecutive seasons of at least eleven sacks. L- look out, another caller. <laughs> we'll bring him on right now. Let's see who it is. Hello, you're on the air. Welcome to Sports Central. Who's this? This is Rob from Chester. Hey, Rob from Chester. Thanks for joining the program. What's going on? Oh, not much. Just uh, had a question uh, regarding Jared Allen and the Green Bay Packers. All right, let's hear. What do you got? Hello? Can you hear us? Yes. All right, yeah, let's hear it. What's the question, Rob? Uh, I got a question. Uh, with the Bears signing of Jared Allen today and keeping things interesting in the NFC North, do you think the Packers should look for offensive line help? Or do you think they should just stick with secondary help with their first pick in the draft? You, you know, th- that's a great question. I, I really think... Um, and thank you for the call. Th- yeah, thank, first off, thanks for the call. I think uh, Green Bay definitely needs to f- boost up that offensive line. Losing Dietrich Smith was big. Yeah, you lose Dietrich Smith. And here's a thing, a common theme that's been going on Green Bay where they keep losing centers. It's, it seems like year after year they, they're lo- losing centers, and that's that's one spot where you want your quarterback and your center to have that rela- have that good relationship. So I definitely think there's an opportunity out there still for them to bring in a uh, an offensive lineman. I think, you know, Alex Mack from the Cleveland Browns is still out there. Now I'm a little shocked as to why, you know. I'm starting to think: Is this guy in, in? Does he have some type of injury history that we don't know about? I, I'm getting concerned, but at I, the same time, here's a young player who who would be definitely make a big impact on anything. I don't think so. I don't think he, anything's wrong with him. I think he's just holding out for the right amount of money. Uh, uh, De La Puente is still out there for the Packers to get to replace Dietrich Smith. They also have the draft coming up. You know, there's still the draft is still coming up for Green Bay. Although I don't know how far back a decent offensive lineman is going to go unless they trade up for it. But, you know, there's still opportunities for Green Bay to get uh, an offensive lineman, and I think that is pretty essential as now that they have Jared Allen coming to Chicago. Yeah, I think uh, Jared Allen coming to Chicago definitely, you know, puts some more energy into this division. Now, you know, they lose Peppers, they gain Jared Allen. You know, he stays in the division, but still – it definitely makes it more competitive. They definitely need to make a move, though. They. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised. That was a good point by our caller. How they should be, uh, you know, boosting up that offensive line, especially since Aaron Rodgers suffered an injury last year. I mean, you know, yeah. you want to protect Aaron Rodgers. Without Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback. I mean, without Aaron Rodgers, the Green Bay Packers are doesn't com- are, are nothing. I mean, they they they're not a playoff team without Aaron Rodgers. Well, li- like most, there's not many teams that you could sit here and tell me are a playoff team without their their quarterback. I oh mean, yeah, right. I mean, they had the, the Patriots one year did lose Tom Brady and had Matt Castle and they won 11 games. And but, then Matt Castle went on to be under center on his own and right without Belichick. Know, but I'm still saying, I'm, I'm no, just I saying, understand what uh, you're saying. But not that doesn't happen ever. That doesn't have to. 
very often. It's very rare. But but he, but here's the thing w- with Green Bay. I think they'll look to definitely improve via the draft. I know they did receive a few extra pick, conditional picks, because of MD Jennings, and they lost somebody else. But I think they they received a third and a fifth round pick, so they are boosted up. They are they will be picking in every single round, in a few rounds, multiple picks, I believe. So I think they will definitely go in. Use uh use that to their advantage as they always do come draft day. Right, I I definitely agree with that. And I again I if Green Bay can pick up a guy like Alex Mack, man, you know that but, would solidify their offensive line. And and, and the, con- the 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 concern is with with paying a guy like Alex Mack is that come the following season, Green Bay has Jordy Nelson to worry about, has Randall Cobb to worry Which is about. Why I I. I think they haven't really, you know, been aggressive this free agency, although they've never the, been Yeah, exactly, you know, so I think come draft day we shall see a, um, hopefully some, some great prospects come into Green Bay. Once again, Rob, thanks for, the, thanks for the call. But also some sad news yesterday in the NFL with the passing of uh, Bills owner Ralph Wilson at the age of 95. Here's a guy who bought the team back in the 50s. At, As an AFL founder, at twenty five thousand dollars. Wow. Do you know how much the bills are approximately worth right now? Give me, give me the number, Joe. What is it? In an August twenty thirteen Forbes magazine article, the Bills franchise was listed to be valued at. Let me check right now. At eight eight hundred and seventy million dollars. Are they really worth that much, Buffalo Bills? What a turnaround. Here's a guy who purchased a team worth $25,000. And now it's worth over $800 million. Terrible terrible news, though, and a... Ralph Wilson lived a full life, contributed to the NFL greatly. All the Nothing but good things said about him from all the NFL owners this past few days. And uh, the commissioner, of course, Roger Goodell, released a statement. And saying how much he has meant to the game, how much... He has he meant to the AFL along with the NFL merging every uh, the merger, and you know, he will be sorely missed. And it's unfortunate that the Bills couldn't you know win a championship for him. He suffered through those four straight losses in the Super Bowl, but he did his 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 job and is a beloved owner in in sports, not only in the NFL. Absolutely, and and the con- con- condol our condolences to the. To go out to the, the Wilson family. family, the Bills organization, and the entire NFL. Here's a guy who made an h- enormous impact. Some other uh, notable NFL news. This is the big controversy this week. The big controversy. Well, everyone loves touchdown celebrations, right? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? I, I, Although that, they've become a little weak lately. They have become a little weak. I, no, I, ch- there's no Chad Johnson in the NFL. There's I, no Terrell Owens in I the NFL the, anymore. I miss the dances. I'm tired of the Victor Cruz salsa. It's outplayed. No, I'm never tired of that. That's Come on, a, I'm tired Don't of it. Tired of I'm that. tired. That's, that's wonderful. It's put me to sleep. I love every time Victor scores a touchdown oh, and he has the salsa. And, yeah. and mm-hmm. It's another six points. You salsa with him? Sometimes, sometimes I do. I, I, do could some, I could see you. I could see you up there doing a little sometimes, dance. I could see it happen. Sometimes when he scores, I get up and I do a little dance. I'm not gonna uh, good for you, I guess. Yeah, sometimes when the Packers score, I like to leap onto my couch. You like? Do you do the, the double Discount check? Discount double do check. Do you do that. the belt, the I, championship belt? I'll do the. I just did it right now. Yeah, there you go. Let me see you do the salsa right now. Though. No, I'm not going to do the salsa right now, Joe. Hey, I'm not going to do that for come you. Come on. It's a little hot in here for me to start dancing. <laughs> but I'm no, not. But <laughs> everyone. Loves those touchdown celebrations. And now the NFL has officially ruled that one celebration will no longer be allowed. Taken away, probably one of the more creative uh, touchdown celebrations. And the now, dunk. The dunk. The slam dunk of ruin. I think we could all thank Jimmy Graham. Thank for, you, Jimmy, for being too strong. For being too strong and bending and breaking, disorienting the field goal post. Right. And now that that um will no longer be allowed. Teams will be penalized if they dunk. I know specifications uh, haven't been released yet. Yeah, there's not. I don't assuming, know the exact ruling. I'm assuming it's going to be a 15 yard penalty on the ensuing kickoff. I mean, what else could they it, possibly? It's got to be some type of unsportsmanlike conduct. It's just I, be I uns- don't think it'll be any like fine worthy or anything. No like way. That. If they fine him for doing that, that is nuts. First of all, I think it's a little crazy right now that they're doing that. Yeah, you know, Aaron Rodgers took to Twitter. He was very unhappy. He was a little concerned that maybe they were. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, Mr. Rodgers. He, he was upset about that. Yeah, he's not dunking anything. 
dunking. What is he no, dunking? No, he's not dunking, but he was just, you know, they're taken away from the game. He was a little concerned that maybe they'd go after the, the traditional Lambo leap, so. Oh, no way. They can't do that. They can't do that, and they aren't going to, and they made that you think clear. They're going to? No, they aren't. They oh, made that don't clear. Do that. You know, but, you know, there'll be a riot be, in Green Bay if he, that happens. Yeah, he, uh, he, he was just voicing his opinion. There'll be, be a riot a, in the studio with Joe over here, too. I'll start doing my own Lambo leaps in the studio. <laughs> I had, you know what, when I went out to Lambeau this past year in, in the fall, I did. Was there a leap? I did do a leap. Wow, you leap? I leap. I would have loved. I wish somebody was recording that. I video. got the video. No way. I got the video I on my phone. That. I'll show you. I'll show you at the end of the show. But it's 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 quite a hefty leap. Is it really? Yeah, it's not bad. You gotta you gotta push you yourself gotta up, up a little you bit. Gotta, you know, you I didn't have fans. It was a concrete wall over there. So. Oh, you better watch out. Yeah, it, it was actually frowned upon to leap. They didn't want you leaping. Really. You know, was it, is it was that like in a the thing to do in Lambo. It was it was like in their mu- in their Hall of Fame museum area. Okay. You know where it says oh leap, but you know you're not really nah, supposed don't really to. Leap. So when the security guard wasn't looking, yeah, I'll, I'll leap a little bit. Did a few leaps. Nice. Oh great! I felt Very like nice. uh felt like uh, who'd I feel like Randall Cobb? You know, Randall Cobb. jumping right in there. But they are taking that away, the uh, dunk away. So now uh, I think that's a ridiculous rule to be honest. You you can you. What do you envision now? You think you're gonna see a little crossover fadeaway or something with you? Got to do a something. Layup. I don't think I think Jimmy Graham's gonna dunk. You think so? I think he's gonna dunk. I, I think, think he should just take down stop. the pole post. I think he, <laughs> he should just jam it and just take it down. Well, Jimmy Graham, you know, I understand that what the NFL is talking about when they say that when they when these players are dunking and they're bending the goal post and they're it's causing a delay in the game where. The goal, they have to bring people out and reset the goal post or whatever it oh, is. Oh, this is enough non... But I understand a, that. Nice... You, you don't understand that? I, I, mean, I understand that. It takes some time. That... It's so stupid. It's, very, it's avoidable. It, it is, and that's why they're getting rid of it. Right. It's avoidable to have have that goal post altered and, and just messed up. But he, Jimmy Graham, he, when he does it, he doesn't just dunk. He dunks and he hangs on and he does a couple pull-ups. I mean, and then I think Jimmy Graham, he couldn't, you know... Let up a little bit. I mean, he doesn't have to do that whole 360 hanging on the rim thing. He could just dunk it over, and that's it. Well, I guess he'll be doing some finger rolls now. Now he'll be he'll be doing some layups and some passes, and I guess and some jump some shots. Pass, jump shot, a three yeah. pointer. He'll maybe throwing, he'll be running maybe, the give and go for a touchdown. The give and go. Wow, <laughs> He's a pick look and out. Roll. The pick and roll. Can you imagine? <laughs> That'd be a nice one to see. Stumbling and bumbling. Uh, they should bring. You know what I love? Lo- the bowling. You grab a few guys. You bowl the no, football. That, you just knock them down. Oh. I, re- I remember the, some of my favorite touchdown celebrations was Chad Johnson, the the dancing and the golfing with the pylon and the and the football where he put the football down and he took the pylon and he pretended it was a putter. It's so that funny. was a good one. That was a good. That one. was a good um, one. The popcorn with Terrell Owens was good. Yeah. They, Joe yeah. Horn. I'll never forget that. It, it happened against the Giants. Joe Horn scored scored a touchdown. He got into the end zone, and he p- pull, pulled a pen out of his sock and signed the football and gave it to a fan. That was great. That was another good one. There's definitely been a lot of great ones. A lot hopefully, of great ones. Hopefully they bring it back. You know, someone brings some more energy Just a little into more those. creativity. Yeah, I would like to see that. Dunking's getting kind of old because now everybody's doing it. It used to be Jimmy Graham's signature, signature thing. Now everybody that scores a touchdown dunks. Yeah, you see, yeah, really. Or that those big guys. And like like a Tony Gonzalez who took to Twitter and was like, you know what, I stepped out of the game at the right time. Well, he, these guys that do, they're former basketball players. Oh, yeah. Gates, Gonzalez, and Graham are all former basketball players. Yeah, and they probably would have turned out to be some basketball players Jimmy too. Graham, definitely. He's a big boy. They're all big boys, but also another possible change that may happen in the NFL is they're working on a playoff expansion, adding a few more teams. I don't think that's smart. I I don't know Come what on, that Joe. does. I I, I what honestly, does that, do? that that waters everything down. I think I think I love the tra- competition. I think what they're trying to do is just expand football. It's you for know, the money. make it's make for the money. I'm make it a longer you. season. It's for the money. Well, that's what everything is in life. Right, John. but I mean, I don't think. The way I think that's we're on the air for the money, right now. Yeah, <laughs> right. But I think Roger Goodell, the only reason why he's he uh, he's saying that you know it's for the competitive nature. He wants the playoffs to be more of a spectacle. He wants to be longer. He feels that it's not it's not long enough for like the NBA or the or Major League Baseball playoffs are. I think that's a lot of nonsense. A lot of stuff I can't say right now on the air. But you know that. Yeah, let's keep it that way. And. uh I, it bothers me because I like the way the NFL is right now. I don't think anything's wrong with it. I think they're making a change just for the sake of making a change. And the only thing I would like 
the NFL to make a change, but they're not doing is put a skills competition in in the Pro Bowl. And well, I would take a skills competition instead of the entire Pro Bowl, the game. It's, oh, you really? So I'm saying you would, I would do a skills competition along with the Pro Bowl. No, I like an All Star Weekend thing, like the NBA has. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is just do a skills competition, and that's it. And that's it because I think I'd still be more tuned in to a skills competition. I definitely would be. I don't. I watch the Pro Bowl. Then watching the game, I have no interest in the Pro Bowl. It, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. But why for me. is that? I can't understand why that is. I I'm not sure, but I would rather see. You wouldn't like to see. I, I'd rather see Aaron Rodgers have to knock down targets or try to throw a football in like a garbage from thirty. Yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't like to see Aaron Rodgers throw a touchdown pass to Calvin Johnson. That's that's what the Pro Bowl is, you know. But yeah, it but, doesn't do anything. Right, for me. you're right. It doesn't I, do it. It's, I think I have more of a wow factor if I see, you know, they make some type of a challenge where they have all their quarterbacks have to go on their knees from the ten yard line and have to hit the goalpost. I mean, I think that's more wow, of an exciting goalpost or so, something, you know, or or hit the pylons, you know. They have three shots to hit the pylons. Well, I'll tell you what. I think I, I'd be more excited to see uh, them do some, that. Some skills, uh, a skill competition that I can think of was uh, just the distance of throwing the ball. Just the quarterback distances. <laughs> we got a lot of guests tonight, folks. I mean, we got people calling in. We got viewers outside the studio. It's great. It's a great night in WSU. I didn't know it was such an anticipated show. Wow. But um, I would see I, some examples of some skilled competition that I would think about that I just come off the top of my head are a distance as far as how far a quarterback can throw the ball. They would start maybe from the one-yard line and see how far they can throw it on the fly, and they would mark it where the ball hit. Uh, speed competition. It's yeah, like a race, forty yard dash a kind of thing. I mean, I'd be, I'd be totally more into seeing guys run as fast as they can than seeing a bunch of guys having an offensive line or a de- and a defensive line that can't really do anything because right. there's no blitz, nothing, you know. Or if you're gonna change it, make, why don't you just make it a flag football game? Because that's another, that's another. I think I, I'd be more interested they in seeing that. should also have the celebrity that. stuff too. That's good. Like this, I'm trying to think. I'm comparing yeah, it to yeah, the All Star Weekend, like celebrity and the NBA, All-Star. And, and the NBA does does a great job with it. Oh, I mean, I this mean, year they improved. They improved. They had been on the decline they in terms the, of the, the dunk three contest. Years been terrible, but this year they got better. And the MLB, they have the celebrity softball game, the home run derby, and the All Star game. Yeah. In the NBA, they have the celebrity basketball game. They have the rookies versus sophomores. They have the slam dunk three point contest, and they have the skills competition with the point guards passing the, through the things and the, the layups and stuff. But in the NFL, I can see how uh, there w- it wouldn't be good to have rookies versus sophomore game. I don't think that w- that's there's just a Pro Bowl. Yeah, that's, that's you know, like like I said, if they could come up with a set of uh, events for each position or a few for each position, that that that'd be that'd be real fun. Yeah, that would be. That's a good thing for some you know some callers to call about and give them give us their ideas about what they would do. Yeah, I mean that that you know what if we had time. But we if, if we had time, unfortunately, we don't have any more time this evening, but. For next week, we'll right. we'll encourage some of our uh, loyal listeners to call in and uh, right. As, as, the question would be, as you see at the NFL making these changes now, what changes what, would you want to see? What changes would you want to see in the NFL that you think would make it more interesting or more appealing to you? And that, to me, the skills competition is it. I, we are both agreeing on that. A- absolutely. All right, that wraps up this edition of Sports Central. A special thanks to. All our callers Kenny, tonight. Kenny, Rob, and Pete. Kenny, Rob, Pete, thanks a lot for reaching out, listening. Security guard that just waves the to security chill. guard that's, <laughs> that's listening from outside. We appreciate that. You're welcome to join the set next week if you would like. <laughs> Make sure you tune in next week. Same place, same time. Stay warm because, for goodness it, sake, it's hey, still cold It's out coming. There. The warm weather's coming this Saturday. 60 degrees, baby. You heard and it. And it's not going away. You heard it from if the one. If it goes one. away, I'll be depressed. You heard it from the one, the The only, only, the franchise. Stay tuned. We'll be back next week. Good night.